Welcome back to Ayaz Tech. My name is Ayaz Zafar. In this video, you are going to learn how to upload or host a static website on Amazon AWS S3 bucket. This is really simple and very easy. Before begin, if you did not subscribe to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any notification from my channel. So let's begin. This is the website that I have locally available. I want to host it on AWS S3 bucket. So right now you can see that is very it is very simple website, just one index.html file. So I want to upload it. So first of all, go I already have logged into my AWS account. You can see here. Uh, now here I will search for the S3 bucket. So click on this S3 bucket. And here, click on the create. Uh, so, click on the create bucket. So here, type the any bucket name that you want to have. I type demo, and now you can also change the region, whatever you prefer. But right now, I'm going to keep it as it is like right now, and scroll down. And for now, let's click on the create bucket. Okay, the bucket has been created successfully. Now click on that. And now we have to upload the file. Click on the upload button and we, you can either click on the add files button to upload file or you can drag and drop your files here. So I will just drag and drop my file. So this is one just single file, drag here. You can also drag folders as well to upload files. So you can see that uh, the, this file has been selected by dragging. And now click on the upload button. Okay. So now go back to your bucket and click on the properties and scroll down to the bottom here you will find the static website hosting and you can see right now it is disabled so that's mean you cannot access it online so to access it online you need to click on the edit button and here just uh, select the enabled option and here you need to provide the index file that you want to load by default whenever your domain is open. So my main file is index.html. So I will just type index.html and click on the save changes. Okay. After that, scroll down uh, and it will give you a URL that you can use to access it online. Click on that URL and you can see that it is not opening. It is saying 403 forbidden. So let's see what we need to do further. Click on the permission. And right now you can see what it is saying. It is saying that it is blocking all public access. That's mean you cannot access it online. You have to click here on the edit button and uncheck this checkbox and click on the save button. Uh, it is asking you to confirm this action. Yeah, I will type the confirm. And let's see if uh, uh, that did the job. So reload the browser. Okay, it is still not accessible. Let's see what's the issue. Open this file and click on the permission and let's see so at this time you can see we uh, there are three uh, 
three options one is object owner everyone and authenticated user right now you can see we have read access only on the object owner that's mean only object owner can uh, see it but uh, public access is not enabled so far so click on the edit button and click on the read and let's see uh, con confirm this action by clicking on this button and click on the save changes now reload your browser and let's see if that works yeah now you can see that uh, our uh, website has been loaded so it is fully accessible to this url this is a public url so that's all you need to do to host host your static website on s3 bucket so that's all i wanted to show you in this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon and also if you like my video then click like my video and comment and share my video thank you for watching hope to see you next time bye